Uh, this video is going to break down everything that you need to know to create guitar beats in a style of artist like Sleepy Hollow, all from scratch in FL Studio. We're not really gonna waste any more time, so let's just jump straight in. All right, so we're now here in FL Studio 21, as you guys can see. First things first, we need to pick a BPM. For this one, I'm actually gonna lower it under 100, so I think something like 95 is gonna be good. Once we have the BPM, we also wanna find a guitar VST. In this case, I'm just gonna be using this Nylon Sky guitar in Omnisphere. It is currently my favorite guitar VST as it gives this really realistic sound, and it's also going to work perfectly perfectly for this tutorial as well. All right, now before we go in and fill out our guitar pattern, I just want to preference that these Sleepy Hollow guitar beats are actually very, very easy and simple to make. So in this case, we're just working in the C sharp minor scale, and we're also just going to start off with a simple C minor triad. So just want to put a note on the C sharp over here, and then we're going to skip the first highlighted note, and again, put one down on the E gonna do the same thing skip this one and put one on the G sharp now like I just mentioned this is a simple triad but we want to add one more note to this so we're just gonna copy the same exact C sharp from the bottom but this time we're gonna pitch it up by one octave as well so we have four notes right here now that we have all of these four notes over here we actually want to strum these top three notes so we're just gonna move all of these ones to the side then we're gonna neglect this middle one we can again just move these ones one to the side we're gonna neglect the top one and move this one to the right again now we actually also want to cut them a little bit short over here just so we can leave a little bit of a gap over here where the clap would go now all we're gonna do is actually just copy this over here but i'm gonna do a few changes with these top notes and we're also going to add one more extra note and then for this last section over here again we just want to copy that first chord and kind of build off of it a little bit so since these top notes aren't really in key we're just going to pitch them down by four semitones like this and then we just need to switch this one down one semitone again so now we pretty much have a super simple guitar pattern like this one and we're actually just going to copy it over for the whole four bars Yeah, the exact vibe we're going for. So just want to loop this over and over again. All right, so that is pretty much it for the guitar. Like I said, it's a super simple and easy pattern to make. You just want to loop it over and over again. Now, we still need to add a couple more elements to the melody. So as you guys might have known, if you have already listened to Sleepy Hollow, he usually always has some sort of vocals in his beats. So in this case, let's just open up Arcade and see if we can find some good sounding vocals. All right, so I just opened up this new preset and hooked inside of Arcade. And for this one, I just went into the few notes and I actually extended out the vocals so we could get the whole phrase. So this is how it sounds. We just need to add some effects to it though. First thing we're going to add is just some reverb. And sort of pitch up that vocal as well. Obviously an EQ as well. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys a crazy trick if you wanna add vocals to your melodies. So you just wanna open up RC20 and you wanna go over to the presets and scroll all the way up until you find this magnitude transition one preset. Just choose this one, hit okay, and that's pretty much everything you have to do. Like I showed you, just add a little bit of reverb and EQ, and it's pretty much gonna blend in perfectly with the rest of your sample. Mmm, that's crazy. All right, I think we're just gonna slowly start off with the drums already. I'm gonna try to show you guys how you can really get that cool and unique bounce you usually hear in those Sleepy Hollow type of beats. By the way, all the drum sounds I'm using are obviously coming from my Mirage Moto kit. So if you guys like the drum sounds you hear, you can obviously check them out. The kit is on my website, it is bbmarker.com, or you guys can just click the first link down below. So in this case, we're just gonna drag in a rim for the clap. Now what you would usually do for the clap pattern is just hit on the first yellow one for every single one like this, but we are actually not gonna do this for this beat. So let's just delete these over here. Then we're actually gonna do a little bit of that cool bounce so let us just add two rims over here and then you want to skip this one and start the whole thing over again over here yeah we're already getting that bounce let's add in that open out as well that I kick in to really get the bounce going. Again, like I said, these beats are actually super simple, so there's not really too much to it. Let's just drag in this kick. Make sure to turn the boost up a little bit as well, just so it hits extra hard. For the kick, we also just want to keep it super simple. Just add one on the first hit and also towards the end of the bar. Yeah, then just repeat that over again. I 
that is pretty much everything you need to know to actually create those Sleepy Hollow type of beats. But I do know for some of you, this might be a little bit too simple. So let's try to spice it up a little bit. Let me just that open it as well. For the second part too. Oof. Now we can't forget the 808. Just following the kick pattern. I'm quickly just gonna try to add a few more elements to the melody just so we can spice up the whole beat a little bit. First thing I'm gonna do is just open up the texture folder in the Mirage Kit and drag in one of those. Alright, so I just opened up this Solver preset in Lo-Fi Glow in Contact and I did just lay down this simple pattern over here. Has a unique sound to it though. So it is kind of just following the same notes as we have on the guitar. It just kind of has that triad chord and these top notes over here. Now I'm gonna try to add some effects to it so it can really blend together nicely with the rest of the sample. A little bit of reverb and EQ. All right, now let me quickly just arrange the whole thing and I'll show you guys the final beat. All right, so here we have the final thing. Shut up, Marco. This right here is the intro. As you guys already know, the hats come in super late. Sometimes they don't even have the hi-hats in the beats. So we just have the counter melody, the guitar, the rim and kick. And we have the 808 and the vocal. Still no hi-hats though. And now they come in. Super simple, but it's still bouncy though. Back with the vocals. Guitar just looping over and over again. No way to wait. Just imagining some sleepy hollow vocals over this. Remove the hi hats. bounces back in. 